winter is coming. What does that mean for our body skin? This video is all about body care, body skin care. Because on this channel, we talk a lot about what goes on the face, but what about the rest of our skin? What is the best way that we can actually care for all of this, all of this that we got here? Can the three-step moisture method be used? on the body, I might share some product recommendations in this video as well. Making sure that you have a supple, comfy body this winter. Stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Olena of olenaplay.com. It's good to see you again. I'm really excited to talk about body care today. I've been experimenting with a method that I may drop in this video later on that has helped my skin feel supple and smooth and like a baby again because you guys know that I'm big on skincare, but honestly, in recent years, I've neglected my body skin. So it got a little rough around the edges, you know? It wasn't the same supple skin that I had as a 20 year old. By the way, I would love it if you guys guessed my age in the comments, cause that would be so much fun. But before I get into body care, I just want us all to get on the same page with realistic expectations. I had a client actually who reached out to me and her primary concern was the skin on her body. Yes, we finessed her actual skincare routine for her face, but she showed me pictures of her body skin and her description was quite dramatic. And then when I actually saw the pictures of her skin, she looked like she had pretty gray, normal, skin on her body. But what she was referring to was actually pores, but on her legs. Because, you know, many of us were trying to erase the pores on our faces due to unrealistic beauty standards, but some of us actually think that we can achieve those results with the rest of our body. Meaning that we can have smooth, airbrushed skin on our butts, on our legs, on our arms, and everywhere. And so I just wanna make it very clear that we can't. We have pores all over our body, not just here, right? We have them everywhere, but especially like wherever you see the hair follicle, right? Like on your legs, those are pores. The hair follicle is a pore. So we can get rid of hair follicles they serve a function, and so we have to learn to actually coexist in a loving relationship with our body and not try to erase flaws that aren't actually flaws. An example of that, of course, is also cellulite. Many women come to me asking me about cellulite and stretch marks, and these are just literally normal things. I know men with stretch marks because with a growth spurt, we get stretch marks. I have stretch marks along my legs where I grew 13 centimeters in one year as a 13 year old, meaning you'll always be chasing that unrealistic, totally unrealistic expectation and you will never achieve it. But this will cause you to spend a lot of money chasing that expectation. So. Hopefully now we're on the same page that that's not what we're aiming for. We're simply aiming to protect this wonderful organ that protects us. And now that the seasons are changing, you know, in the summer we really had to deal with a lot of sun, right? So I hope you guys were protecting your skin wearing sunscreen, protective clothing, sunglasses and hats. Now that the seasons are changing and it's getting colder, we're gonna be dealing with indoor heating that can be quite rough. And the temperature extremes of going from indoors to outdoors, right? Indoors being kind of hot, outdoors being sometimes freezing, especially if you live in Canada. <laughs> Ex-Canadian over here, okay? So I'm gonna share some body tips for you so that you can maintain and protect this beautiful organ skin. It's going to be mighty, mighty tempting for you to take long, hot showers as the temperature begins to drop outside. I warn against that because hot showers, they're really hard on the skin. So you're gonna wanna limit actually how often you shower because you won't be sweating as much, right? It's not like in the summer. In the summer, of course, please, please shower. But in the winter, I would recommend keeping those showers as short as possible and keep the water temperature away from the extreme, extreme like heat. You don't want the water to be too hot. So I do not recommend baths 
especially for a long amount of time. They can be very relaxing, but please really limit your baths, like once a week or whatever as a relaxing gesture. Don't make it a habit where you're soaking your skin for hours at a time. So in the winter, I would wash your body when necessary, when you're actually dirty. So you might find yourself actually skipping a few showers here and there, but of course I don't mean private parts. Please, for the love of God, wash your private parts and you know, BO areas. So you can even do like little bird baths where those are really the main areas that you're washing and you don't have to be overwashing the rest of your skin. Also, an added benefit to keeping those showers less frequent and shorter in time is of course, it's better for our planet. No, but seriously, let's do whatever we can. <laughs> guys, okay, let's, let's, let's start doing stuff for our planet. By now, you guys have maybe heard of my famous three-step moisture method that is taking over the world. If you haven't, <laughs> then please click the cards in the bio and learn more about the three-step moisture method because it is the most revolutionary way to moisturize your skin that actually works. But it doesn't just hydrate your skin. Many people really don't understand how important hydration is and not over stripping your skin. Hydrating our skin is a protective measure, right? Preventing water loss, transepidermal water loss, preventing dehydration of the actual skin, the organ skin, and preventing premature aging, preventing damage down the road. We wanna keep our skin in Intact. We want it to continue to protect us from all of the environmental stressors that it has to deal with all the time. Many of you are using the three-step moisture method, so let me know how you're loving it, whether in the comments below. I love hearing about your experiences with the three-step moisture method. But many of you have been asking me if you can use the three-step moisture method on the body. And honestly, I actually didn't really think about it. My body skin, the way I take care of my facial skin, which is kind of unfair to like the rest of my skin because this here is taken care of like a queen but this here has been taken care of like chopped liver. And so I decided to change things and actually try the three-step moisture method, my own three-step moisture method on the body. And guess what? It's epic. So how do you use the three-step moisture method on the body? Well, I scoured, I scoured the internet far and wide looking for products that you can use in the three-step moisture method, but for the body. And I found them. No way! And I will share them in a moment. But how does the three-step moisture method work on the body? Well, after you get out of the shower, your body is gonna be damp. We're gonna use that dampness as the first step. So you don't have to fully dry your body. Obviously, you don't want to be dripping wet when you're applying the second and the third step of the three-step moisture method. I pat my body lightly to still keep some of that moisture on my skin, which is step one, but I don't like to be dripping wet because I find this kind of works against the method a little bit. So before that water evaporates off your skin, it's time for step two. <laughs> so I found this amazing product, the Hyaluronic Concentrate from the Chemistry brand, which is a sister company of The Ordinary, actually. They're all owned by Desium. This is an amazing product for step two because as you guys know, step two is a humectant. A humectant is a compound that works like a sponge, right? And it takes all that moisture on your skin and absorbs up to a thousand times its weight of it and keeps it on your skin. But then if we just leave it there, that moisture is gonna evaporate. Before step two dries, now we wanna seal in that lovely, rich moisture that we just added to our skin. Time for step three. I recommend, of course, it's a Bioderma product. <laughs> if you guys have watched my channel for a little while, you might be noticing quite a few Bioderma products here. I am not sponsored yet <laughs> by Bioderma, but this is the Autoderm PP Balm that restores lipids in your skin. It will seal all that moisture in that we just added so that it won't evaporate. It contains glycerin, which is a humectant, followed by mineral oil, which you guys shouldn't be scared of because it makes for an amazing occlusive, meaning it will prevent water loss from your skin, which is what we want, especially in the winter. This is gonna prevent our skin from getting all flaky and ashy and dry and cracky. We don't want that. And it contains 
brings dimethicone and even a little bit of niacinamide, which is a great ingredient to protect the moisture barrier of our skin. It's a really well formulated cream that I recommend you use from pretty much here on down. So I recommend the combination of these two products to get very hydrated skin. Just by changing this up in my body care routine already, my legs have never felt smoother. No, but I mean, they haven't felt this smooth since I was in my early 20s. And I think hydration was really missing on the rest of my body, but I mean proper hydration. So consider, consider this combination because it is epic. I know you guys are probably gonna ask me in the comments of can you use the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid Serum on your body for step two? Technically you can. I prefer this jelly. It has an amazing texture and a little bit goes a long way because the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid comes in a 60 milliliter bottle max and this is 240, right? So I think it makes sense to buy larger products because you will need more of them to cover your entire body. We can't forget the hands. Yes, guys, so I even have a hand product for you and this is the Chemistry Brands Hand Concentrate. The hands are usually kind of the first sign of aging as well as the neck and the decollete area. This is why I tell you guys to bring down the sunscreen all the way over here, okay? And the pro tip was to apply sunscreen on your hands. Now, the other way that we can prevent aging of our hands is through hydrating them with a really well-formulated product. And this, I, I can really go into the ingredients here, but I feel like that's gonna take a lot of time in this video. This is extremely well-formulated and has transformed some of my clients' hands in like a span of 11 days, where they would have like eczema patches and extreme dryness and this heals. But I mean, for, for me personally, and what I've seen is that it heals pretty much overnight. So I would use this regularly in your hand care routine so that you have really supple and young looking hands. If you're concerned with your body skin aging, I've actually found a product that contains an anti-aging ingredient, which is extremely rare for body products. Most of them don't really contain many actives. The retin oil from the chemistry brand contains Granactive Retinoid, and Granactive Retinoid is a vitamin A derivative that is quite gentle, but works similarly the way you know retinol and other retinoids do. However, it is far more gentle Gentle, so you won't see the same irritation that you would with retinol or things like, you know, Retin-A. And I do not recommend that you use prescription retinoids on your body because the thickness of your skin differs all over your body. And you might be finding that you will be creating a bunch of irritation where you don't want it. I have seen some of my clients try to take their actives down their neck, the actives in their skincare routine, and thereby creating clogging and dehydration and problems down the road. So the actives that are meant to go on your face don't always belong on your neck where your skin is thinner or the rest of your body, right? So I'm really not a fan of using products that are not formulated for the body on the body. This, however, contains 1% Granactive Retinoid, which is less than the Ordinary's 2% Granactive Retinoid emulsion. So it's a gentler product, but still, if anti-aging for your body skin is something that you're interested in, this is also a product that you can consider. However, it does contain some oils, so if you are prone to bouts of malassezia folliculitis, then I do not recommend this product for you. But if your skin is you know, on the mature side, maybe on the dry side, then this is something that you can consider incorporating into your body care routine a few times a week. Uh, some of you might be wondering, but what if I have body acne? What do I do? You have to watch my body acne video because I have an entire video on why body acne forms and how you can treat it. So to wrap up, as with skincare on the face, I would also avoid irritants and clogging ingredients largely on your body too, but I do find that body skin is just a little bit more resilient and a little less prone to clogging. I'm really excited to have you try the three-step moisture method on your body and see what it could do, because again, many of you are seasoned professionals <laughs> with the three-step moisture method on your face and you saw, you saw what it does to your face. Now imagine what it could do for your body. Ah. 
Oh, so exciting. So let me know in the comments below once you do try this method, because like I really want to hear from you. This is really exciting stuff. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Click that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload the next video. This was Elena of ElenaVillet.com. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.